Departing from the Great Bridge of Murden, the Alliance Army marches south toward Envar, the Imperial capital. As an unknown military force begins their advance under the banner of the kingdom, the Imperial Army dispatches forces from Fort Mercius with the intention of intercepting them. The curtain is rising on a conflict between the three armies, which will come to be known as the Battle at Grande held on the same planes that witnessed the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. Hmm? <laughs> that's naturally that's what those are the noises I make when I'm lost in thought. Doing a lot of hops, in case you're wondering. My ultimate form is when I when I hop. To war with Grander. Map. What we got? Poor Bernie. Ah, oh, hey, there you are. This whole time I was... I had some concerns that maybe Dimitri was dead. Because they said he completely lost control over here. Uh, to I think it was Cornelia. Because she's a fucking bitch. <laughs> the bitch, you fucking bitch. We need to take control of the central area as soon as possible. So we will we will hatch many a, many a plan. Uh, as it stands, the only change I would make here is probably that. Okay. Uh, otherwise, units going in. Yeah, this all this all seems okay. Let's get going. That I will tear your heads from your shoulders. The dead must have their tribute. As big class reunions go, this one's got to be the worst in history. Years ago, we fought here as classmates. But not today. Kill every last one of them! And so we fight on. I will crush anyone who blocks my path. Dimitri, he's alive. But he doesn't look interested in joining forces with us. It would not be advantageous to take on both at once. We must stop the Kingdom and the Alliance from joining forces. I will create such chaotic warfare that they won't be able to tell who is friend and who is foe. Well, we begin. What's my strategy? Out of the way. This is one of the really good tracks in, in, in this game. I'm a big fan of this one. Let's make this quick. Nothing personnel. Good job, Linhart. The center is in danger of being taken. We must be running to protect it. I don't think so. Get the ready. I'll do my best. We will be taking this shit, whether you like it or Let's not. Go. Shall we? 
My orders? My my flyers uh, give me superiority. Ready for anything. Shall we? Leave it to me. Hold on, I keep coming up just short. There we go. Alright, what's your move? Try it. Good. We will take over the center on this next turn. The Imperial Army is starting to crumble. We will step on the Empire right along with the Alliance troops. To the eternal flames with all of them. Oh! He's so aggro. Oh, shit. All right. Mm, can I reach this spot? I can't. I'll come up just short. That's fine. Sorry, but it's time to go. Professor, is that you? You're with the enemy. That means I... I'll have to kill you. I did my best! Wish I could have at least died at home. Not in this big, stupid field. I let you live for two routes. But not another. Bernadetta, thank you. I'll make sure your life was not lost in vain. Assuming control. For Adrestia and for Brigid, I will be defeating all of you. That had a, like a 40% chance to hit. I am shocked. Oh, thank God your physic reaches. Because it looks like he's going to die anyway, but I want this to at least be close. Yeah, they just all want him. That's it. I'll tolerate no obstacle. Yeah, there's nothing I can do to push them away. Wait, that got her attention. There might be hope here. Maybe. If he goes down, we'll just have to deal with it. He is not he is not a requirement here in the conditions. It's all of my units. I had to double check because I forgot whether or not it was. You read my Got no time for mercy. I'm not... That was amazing. I would like to avoid attacking old old friend units if I can. But it's looking like this is going to be a fucking problem. We all choose our paths, and I've chosen mine. I fight for my lord to the death. Your Highness, I failed you. KZ be like, I'm gonna try and avoid killing former students. Kills one in 20 seconds. It's tragic, but it had to be done. Oh, Ferdinand, you ain't gonna do shit. 
pull their attention then. Beat him with a hammer. Get out of here. Can't afford to lose. Fun to watch. Nice try. So close. Yes! I need these misses or else Claude's fucking dead. Too easy. We must maintain control. So close. Thank, thank God you got them moves, man. Too easy. Yes! Oh my God, Claude! The weak. Uh, be Want careful. There's Step a to-do in this area. There's Let's also a Felix. Oh boy. I cannot die here. <laughs> huh. I guess this is fate. Sorry, but I need you to please give up quietly, okay? Oh no! God, so vain, man. You really had to do that, man. This we be warring, all right. <laughs> Okay. Fuck. Yeah, I have, I have no choice. You gotta go down. Sorry. I'm not afraid. I figured it would end like this. Game, game about to make me feel bad. Oh, he doesn't even say he just dies! This is fucked up. This is fucked up. I'm sorry, but you need to fu You need to go. I can't be fighting anymore. I must be retreating now. No, oh, yeah, you get to Don't fucking worry. retreat. You must live on to lead your people. Those fools who went up the hill will pay with their lives in the crimson flames. Oh! No one can move. God. I forgot that happens. I'm pretty sure she did that last time, too. Can I take out the do? No. I can't even fucking scratch him, pretty much. Can you take out Dimitri? You can get close. We'll wait on that. We'll wait on that for a moment. First, we need to deal with other problems in front of us. Namely, Felix. God, if he had more health, this would be a bit better. I bet you have Sword Breaker on, right? That can help. That'll bring you to 20. This'll do better. Whoa! No! Oh, no! Get out of here with that shit. Are you, are you fucking kidding me? He fucking critted on top to of me. it. Oh my god. There's no hope regardless, so what's gonna do more damage here? Silver Gauntlet's plus. Here we go. Make up for the guarded one. Critical guard. Ah. Oh. 
God, a man with the ass that don't quit. <laughs> Nice! You. You're down! Uh, Boom! Not here. Not like this. Felix. They're... Am I really just eliminating all of the blue lines from the fucking game at this point? We're just decimating his entire fucking group. They're just, they're like, he, here's how you write him out of the story. He does not survive Gronder. Let's go. We will not overextend. We will wait patiently for Dimitri to come to us. And next turn, I'll be able to move in as well. What's my strategy? Another victory. At the ready. We have our access to arms. The central hill is up in smoke. Suppose I'll have to quench the flames with the enemy's blood. Jesus Christ, Hubert. Uh, here come the Pegasi. You're not worth it. Get out of my sight. Oh! Oh shit! I clearly tried too hard. Uh, I'll just go rest up or something. Uh, I maintain Dimitri the Ross man on Earth. <laughs> Could have been a bit more dicey. We need to deal with the problem to our left badly. Uh, hello, everyone. I am. I am basically God. I have come here today with the message of God, and it, the message is to leave me the fuck alone, you're not willing to do that, of course. Shall we? Uh, instead, I will give you a peace offering. I will come and kill you myself. Thought you could best me. Hmm... Oh, it's fucking the move again shit. There, get you away from that. You need to leave. You need to move somewhere else. Oh my god, it does nothing to him. Curve shot. I fought and won. Just like that. I won't run. I can actually attack from here? Silence. No magic for the opponent for a turn. Nah, not worth it. Use your elixir. Well, they've actually pushed us to the west. We have the problem. He's going to kill anyone who touches anyone he comes in contact with. I'm not a fan of that being the, the reality. We just need to thin things out. Fucking to do is a problem. Also, to do is a uh oh. God, is he an uh oh? I think Byleth might be the only one who can touch him. All right, they're gonna start moving, moving in. We're about to, we're about to get attacked on both sides. 
In the name of his highness, you die. Here. I love you, Didu! I'll do my best. I'm sorry, Didu, I gotta put you down. My blood compels me! I can still fight, your highness. Shut up and retreat. You must live to do. Huh? So we don't finish him here? Whatever the case, let's try and put him down. Calm down, Dimitri. What does it achieve us killing each other here? Move, Claude. I have no time to exchange words with you. It doesn't matter what I'm saying, does it? You aren't even listening. But I'm not gonna budge. Hold the grudge if you must. Where are you, Aid God? I will not stop until I kill you. Okay. A nobleman does his duty. We should probably start taking these guys out. Once again, I am confused by the movement. It is a fickle mistress. All is going to plan. Now I don't need that. Put that away. No way I can lose here. Okay, we've taken control of the West. We're interfering with the plan. Looks like I'll just have to get rid of you. Oh, there goes Leone. I had a feeling. What I wouldn't give for a bit of better range. We're gonna go. We're gonna go in from the top. <laughs> I guarded it, but. Yeah, if you want some action, you best move in. Hmm, still can't reach him. Fine, burn for all I care. You will get in range like a normal person, you'll fuck off. Meanwhile, we're gonna go kill your number one. I do not want to deal with uh, being exposed to fire. That's not on my list of things to do today. And at the very least, we'll, we'll slowly start working on these guys. Because I know we gotta take out every enemy. Well aware of that fact. It's an unfortunate fact, though. Let's use Blute Gang. Nice work. Hmm, that'll eliminate the rest of it. I'd rather not. There we go. This will finish it. I must. You're really Don't tough. apologize, it's a monster.
Mm, do I have any spell that can do it? No. Fine. This will have to do. It won't be in vain. This is definitely a uh, war of attrition. Yeah, come on over, Edelgard. I knew when next we met, one of our paths would have to come to an end. Your journey ends here, Professor. Forever. Ugh. Oh! And she sure knows how to knows how to go in. I'll have to get directly here if I want to hit her with this. We haven't seen each other since Garrick Mach. You've grown lovelier than ever, Edelgard. You're not so unfortunate yourself. And you have the aid of the professor. Frankly, I'm jealous. Now's the chance for you and the professor to leave. <laughs> I'm afraid I must decline. Even if we left, we just have to come right back. I lost. Just as expected, you aren't making my path an easy one. I must retreat for now. We'll meet again on the battlefield. Even in an ugly battle like this, it's important not to lose heart. We have to take pride in our victory. We did it, Teach. Now we can move forward to our victory. I don't feel good about this one. I killed so many precious children. You have a fucking Petra live, so it's all good, right? No. So, Edelgard retreated. I suppose she lives to be defeated another day. <sighs> it was close. Too close. But I suppose all that matters is that we won. Some of our allies are injured, but can still fight. We'll just have to accept this outcome and press onward. Still, the battlefield looks awful. And I wonder what became of the Kingdom Army. And Dimitri. I saw him. Who? Dimitri? He was completely different from how I remember him. He looked like a crazed demon while he was fighting. He pursued Edelgard as she retreated, but he didn't get far before he collapsed. I saw him surrounded by Imperial troops and pierced by their spears. I'll never forget it. He deserved a better end. <sighs> Dimitri. He went through so much to make it here, only for his efforts to be in vain. I can't even begin to understand what Dimitri must have been feeling, but there must have been some other way. Why did he have to go like that? And his vassal, Dudu, did he fall as well? <laughs> I don't know. Your Highness. Your ambitions are my own now. I... I will bring you Edelgard's head. I swear it! Professor? Claude? May I have a moment of your time? Lysithia, what are you doing up this late? Trouble sleeping? We all have nights like that. Anyone would be shaken after such a brutal battle. If you're having trouble sleeping, you should drink some warm milk. That's a thing, right? Must you treat me like a child, simply because I'm awake a bit later than usual? <sighs> Actually, I can hardly muster any indignation right now. I wanted to tell you that I noticed something odd during that battle. What was it? There were some strange mages among the ranks of the Imperial Army. 
Did you notice them? Uh, the ones dressed in black? That's right. I have seen people dressed just like that before. It was a long time ago. House Ordelia was involved in a rebellion that took place within the Empire 13 years ago. After it was quelled, all of the key officials were caught and put to death. The Empire sent replacements, who they used to take control of House Ordelia. Among the people sent by the Empire were mages dressed in black, just like those we saw in battle. If they're Imperial mages, it makes sense that they would wear the same clothing, right? Yes. But the mages from back then, and today, I do not believe they are from the Adrestian Empire. Are they Alliance mages? No. I got the impression that they were from somewhere else. Somewhere completely separate from Fothian. There's more. Those mages imprisoned the children from my house, and performed horrible rituals on them. Blood experiments. Lysithia. You can't mean... even you? Yes. All of the others were deemed failures. They all died. And even I... <sighs> it doesn't matter. The point is that those monsters possess dreadful knowledge and power. I just thought you should know the sort of people who have allied with the Empire. Blood experiments. Does that remind you of anything, Teach? That incident with the Flame Emperor. Exactly. There was that secret group who abducted Flame and extracted her blood five years ago. The people involved back then were Tomas and Monica. Well, I suppose their true names were Solon and Kranya. So, that eerie group has been slithering behind the scenes in the Empire for a while now. Lysithia, thank you for sharing all of that with us. One day we will uncover the truth of who those people really are. We've managed to invade Empire territory and emerge victorious in our first battle. I hope to maintain our momentum and push onward to Enbal, the Imperial capital. Unfortunately, we are not legendary heroes in a fairy tale. Our stamina has limits. The longer we fight, the harder the fight will become. It will take immense effort to secure the supplies and soldiers we need to prevail. Boy, you better not be saying this is as far as we go. Of course not. However, the road ahead leads deep into enemy territory. It'll be a difficult journey, strewn with hardship. I can't guarantee that we'll make it out alive. If anyone wants to leave, now is the time to do it. I shall accompany you to the very end. After all, someone must step up to take leadership should you fall. I'm coming. The future of my village depends on this. Besides, I have to protect the professor. For Captain Gerald. I'm not going anywhere. Because of the Empire, my little sis can't live in peace. We can't leave the future of Fodlin to others. I'm sure that everyone here feels the same. The Knights of Seros are prepared to keep fighting the Empire until we rescue Lady Rhea. I feel the same as the Knights. I've got to rescue Lady Rhea no matter what. So what? We're all supposed to take turns saying we'll do our best until the very end? And what about you, Marianne? What will you do? I... I'll fight too. <sighs> Fine. Fine. I suppose I'll tag along too. Until the bitter end. <laughs> it's an honor to keep fighting alongside such stalwart allies. Right, Teach? I'd expect nothing less from my students. Hey now, when you put it that way, it almost sounds like you're just praising yourself. All right. Now that I know where each of you stands, I'm going to return to Alliance territory for a while. I intend to report this victory to the Alliance Lords and draw out even more support from them. Our next battle will be even more challenging, so brace yourselves for that. Hmm. I should write to my brother. He'll want to hear about our victory. Your brother, Lord Holst? How is he these days? Oh, he's doing great. I even got a letter from him before the last battle. He wanted to come and join our fight, too. What's this? 
Lord Holst come here? That would be a most reassuring development. Sadly, it sounds like my father was against the idea. They want him to stay in case they need to fight the Almirans. Their logic is sound, though it is vexing that the Alliance's greatest general cannot join us on the front lines. We should be glad that Holst is staying behind. Almira aside, there's also no guarantee that the Imperial forces won't try to launch a surprise attack from the Old Kingdom territory. Um, if you have something you need to talk to my brother about, I'd be happy to send a letter. No, that's okay. I'm just glad to hear he's doing well. Please send him my regards. Part 2 Verdant Wind Harpstring Moon The Golden Scheme Claude leverages his victory at the Battle of Grande to secure reinforcements from Alliance Lords. Meanwhile, the Imperial Army continues to tighten its defenses at Fort Mercius in anticipation of an attack on the Imperial capital. Our objective is Enbar, the Imperial capital, but our greatest obstacle lies before that. And what's that? Fort Mercius. If we can't pass through, we won't be able to reach Enbar. Fort Mercius. The impregnable fortress, or so it's called. If I recall correctly, it's sometimes referred to as the stubborn old general. It is a massive fortress that was constructed to protect the Imperial capital. The Imperial troops we defeated passed through Fort Mercius and retreated to Enbar. Right now, Fort Mercius should only have its usual defensive forces to contend with. Hmm. We should attack quickly. Yes, it would be good to finish up here before more enemy reinforcements arrive. The only real question is what our fearless leader intends to do. Sorry for the delay, everyone. Those mewling lords kept me from leaving for quite some time. So, were you able to secure additional reinforcements? It's gonna have to wait until next month. It doesn't look like they can afford to keep supporting us at present. Then what should we do about Fort Mercius? Do you plan on waiting around? No. If we wait until next month, the enemy will have bolstered their defenses. That said, the prevailing theory is that you need triple your enemy's forces to take a fortress with a frontal assault. Right. That's what we were taught at the Academy. And this is Fort Mercius we're talking about. It's renowned for its strong defenses. Our current army isn't nearly strong enough. Hmm. What to do? Whatever you do, just don't ask us to scale those huge walls. We'd end up dead when they hurl rocks down at us. Yeah, no thanks. If only someone would open up the gates for us from the inside. Unfortunately, we don't have any spies in there. Wait a minute. I've got it. We sneak in, stir up confusion, and open the gates ourselves to let our allies in. Right. That's what I was saying all along. Right. Nice one, Hilda. But how do you propose we go about sneaking in? Oh, disguises? If we dress up like Imperial soldiers, maybe they'll think we're allies and let us in. Do you really think they just open the gates for us? I'd be pretty dumbfounded if that worked. No, no, she's on to something. It's a good idea, Hilda. We just need to refine it a bit, and we'll be in there before we know it. Really? Go me! What is your definition of refining the idea? I know your go-to strategy is nausea-inducing poison, but... Ugh, oh, I maybe ate too much. My stomach hurts. Raphael, why are you eating meat during a war council? So, ah! fearless leader, I'm guessing you're going to keep the crucial parts of your scheme under wraps until the time comes, aren't you? You know me so well, Judith. 
Whether we like it or not, this war puts a damper on all of our spirits. What's wrong with trying to have a little fun every now and again? Just leave the details to me. Sure, we can finally get this A rank. Thank you for helping me with my training again today, Professor. I'm gonna keep at it for a while longer, so you go on ahead. You should get some rest. I can't. Not when I'm right on the cusp of using my power to greater potential. Surely you yourself are tired. Just don't worry about me, okay? Ah! I'm sorry, Professor. It was careless of me to continue, despite how fatigued I clearly was. I probably should have listened to you. Now I've made a mess of things. I can't help but feel the need to rush in all things constantly. You get that way when you realize you haven't got much time. What do you mean? I believe I've mentioned that House Ordelia was, at one time, being controlled by people from the Empire. During that time, strange people, mages perhaps, came and performed rituals on all the youth within my family. With the Empire monitoring our every move, my parents could do nothing but watch in horror as all of this unfolded. One after another, the children died, until the only one left was me. You know, my hair wasn't always this color. During their experiments, they'd been doing things with my blood. One morning, I awoke like this. A shock of white hair, all trace of pigment, gone. Upon seeing me, the mages were delighted. They realized that their experiments had finally succeeded. Sure enough, they ran a test saw that two crests coexisted within me. Losing pigment from my hair wasn't the only loss. The mages informed me that my lifespan was now greatly shortened. Five more years at most. Perhaps less. How awful. Shortly thereafter, the mages lost interest in me, and we never saw them in the Ordelia household again. Since all that, our family has been in decline. It's challenging now even to govern our territory. After all my mother and father have suffered, I at least want them to have peace as they grow older. That is all I wish for, but I haven't much time to ensure it comes to pass. It's too soon to give up. It's not like what's been done to me can be undone. Let's try and find a way to undo it. Professor, The only way I can conceive of would be to remove my crest somehow. But I don't know if that's even remotely possible. Even if it were, I wouldn't be of much use to you and the others without my crest. We will find a way. You sound resolved. I'll allow your resolve to bolster my own. Thank you, Professor. As a sand, that's all pretty, pretty heavy. We have some supports all around. Finish up Lascithia with Claude. Finish her up with you. We we got we got some a few to do. We will do those, however, at the end of the month. That'll be on May twenty fourth. Or no 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 no. We'll we'll finish them up uh, like the day before we we go in. Because I'll obviously do some battles at the end of the month. Uh, but I'm going to end this episode here. I have no real reason to keep on going. We've gone for a bit. Next time, we shall... We shall do uh, the infiltration of Fort Mercury. Mercius? We'll, we'll do that. So, thank you so much for watching Fire Emblem Three Houses. I'll see you next time for even more. <laughs>